Chris Jones fake reported to have signed back with the Kansas City Chiefs. This came after a Chris Jones, Stone Cold Jones uh, tweet on X with a picture of Andy Reid celebrating with him after a Super Bowl, a phone call that has lasted an hour, if you see on the top of the screen there, and then him saying, KC, dot, 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 dot. I immediately thought, oh, this means he is back with the Kansas City Chiefs. A deal has been done, mm-hmm. hour long. They have agreed to terms here. But it also could have been a little, this could be a little public leverage play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This could be a little public leverage play oh, by okay. Chris Jones now that it hasn't been officially announced because there was a couple of fake reports, McCockner all over the internet were reporting a deal was done and a lot of people around the NFL who have uh, interest in defensive line deals Cam Hayward celebrated Michael Parsons celebrated obviously they're directly affected by somebody who's considered the best in the game getting a brand new contract there's a new market so I think I believe that my initial reaction was a deal is done or close to getting done between the Chiefs and Stone Cold Jones, who's a game wrecker, not only because of the drunk speech, but also because of the photo. But now as time continues to roll out without anything being officially announced other than a a McCockner or two or a Schnefter Mm -hmm. or two, it's like, was that a leverage play? Where are we? What do you think, AJ? What are your thoughts on this entire thing? Man, I don't know. I I assumed it was done or it was very, very close to being done. I wonder what could be like the – the final hangup, but do we have any idea what the numbers might look like on this deal? It will be a hometown discount too, like you know, because Chris Jones he could hit the market. Yep. And remember, he, wait. So can they? They can't tag him, obviously. No, because right? they tag Snead. So, so only, man, why, why wouldn't he? Man, if they let him hit the market, he's going to get monster offers. Which I would assume, that, you know, his agents, the Cats brothers, good, they're good agents, good people. They're humans though too. Like they're humans, like. I've enjoyed my interactions with them every single time that I've chatted with them. And uh, I forget which one, did, but one of them tweeted during the parade. Yes. Like, hey, cut him off mm-hmm. while he's giving the speech about cut. Like, that's self-awareness. Like, I, I enjoy that type of stuff. But I assume there's people telling him, like, hey, if you were to hit the market, you weren't able to last year. If you were to hit the market, we feel like there's a big... Big upside for you. Like, we're just doing our job telling you that this could happen. But Chris Jones probably, I'm hoping at least for the sake of just like everything we know about Chris Jones and not saying it's the right thing and he has to do this, but just like the feeling we have is like, seems like I get a sense he wants to be a part of like yeah what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like going back to back to back has never happened. You heard Patrick Mahomes literally say that two days after or literally immediately after the Super Bowl was like, nobody's ever won three in a row ever in the history. It's like, that's immortality. You know, that's the 72 Dolphins who go undefeated, who still pop bottles. It's like doing something has never been done before can be very motivating. Will that motivate Chris Jones to potentially take less money than he's obviously able to get out if he was to go see the market i assume that's the conversation that's taking place you know at some point in there probably seeing his agent at the combine probably talking to other teams getting an idea hey what could you what would you offer us you know if we hit the market what would you offer chris what's what do you have in mind and then trying to compare that to whatever the chiefs are offering him i guess and seeing hey is it worth it because he's definitely going, going to take a little less money if he stays in kansas city than if he hits the open market we know that but Seems like he wants to win. So Aaron Donald is in a league of his own. He got he's getting thirty one six a year. Um, but then Quentin Williams is second. He got paid last season. He's getting twenty four a year. Jeff Simmons is getting twenty three five a year. Deron Payne is getting twenty two five a year. So it would have to be at least twenty something. It's gonna, yes. it's gotta be twenty five oh. probably, right? If I mean if Quentin Williams just got twenty four last year. Yeah, but and Aaron's getting thirty one. It's gotta be But if they baby faced and said he took a hometown discount, sure. like mm-hmm. twenty feels like the number if you're hometown discounting it. Like 15 is way too low. Yep. Yep. That would be nine million less than Quinn. That would be way too much. Hargrave got 21 last year when he went to the Niners. And what was Wilkins looking for? What was the number? Oh, it yeah. was like 21 oh. or whatever that they couldn't get too. to because he's probably going to get the 25 or the mm-hmm. Quinn. And Wilkins number. is hoping like Hill that Chris Jones signs back with Kansas City. Yes. Yes, <laughs> well, yes. yes he is. Or maybe, you know, Tyron Matthew leaves. They bring in Sneed. Like, yeah. true. The they, Chiefs have true. in the past been like one yeah. vet. For sure. another, you know, and, and kind of... How many of, years has Chris Jones played? Great question. I, I'm trying to think back to when I saw him run at 40. And him yeah, and... Yeah, I remember that 40. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. 29 years old. I mean, he was... <laughs> six? I've never seen somebody was, get weighed down from the middle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, boy. That was amazing. Because normally, like, your center of balance is here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Instead, it was where the anchor was. <laughs> Chris I, Jones. I, 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 he defied science. I think that's why he's so good, is he defies science. So he's... Chris Jones is 29. Chris Wilkins is 28. If that... 
Yeah. So, so that's similar to what similar. happened. Yeah. Yeah. Tyron Matthew Sneed situation. Ju- and uh, I think they get less money. Yeah, Justin Reed. They, there like, it is, Justin Reed. Yeah, Davis. they brought him in, and it was basically the same exact deal. Yeah, from Houston, and he yep. kicked mm-hmm. for them. He ended yeah. up kicking for them mm-hmm. as well, Justin Reed. Everybody in Kansas City wants Chris Jones back. I wonder if that's what that tweet was too about. I, like you know, or maybe he knew Drew Tranquil was signing last night. Hey, congrats to Drew Tranquil signing yeah, back yeah, with the Chiefs. Man. Travis Kelsey. Everybody was kind of celebrating that. He was uh, seemingly huge down the stretch when. It's a great happened. addition. Yeah, when Bolton, squad. or excuse me, when Willie Gay got hurt, yeah. he, he filled in perfectly. Yeah. Culture-wise as well. Yes. Yeah. Felt like he, they gravitated to him. They yeah. liked him, too. It felt like the Kansas City Chiefs players liked him, and he loved being Kansas City Chief. Talking his shit. Oh, yeah. He was oh, yeah. talking his shit. <laughs> yeah. And I, I think you didn't hear anybody from Kansas City say, like, yeah, we got some new guys talking. It was a complete other, like, we love Drew Tranquil. Mm-hmm. Steve Spagnuolo talked about how big of an impact that he yeah. had on the team. He loved him as well. And if you remember, defense coordinator Steve Spagnuolo said, all 11 guys on the field for us have high football IQ. That is including Drew Tranquil, who came in and made an immediate impact. Come on. And I think he's beloved <laughs> in Kansas City quickly and is already a Super Bowl champion. Yeah. So yeah. good for him as his career has taken quite an awesome turn. He is back with the Kansas City Chiefs. 